Hello there and welcome back to another episode of X4 with the Star Wars Interworlds mod. I am Captain Jack Gumption, we're on the Imperial campaign again and we're picking up exactly where we left off. We're still in Glee Ansem, I think, in the graveyard, essentially. Um, last episode we took on a few waves of the New Republic fleet, we destroyed Home 1 um, and there is still a couple of stragglers coming through um, the gate so we've got this MC80 uh, there's also a couple of pelt there's at least one pelter kicking about um, as well and we're pretty much sandwiched as it stands at the minute between these two um, defence platforms um, the plan is to leave this fleet here, um, get it restocked and repaired best we can. We are kind of in a war of attrition as it stands at the minute. Um, we're down on fighters. Um, we had 340, 350 I believe at the beginning of this. Um, we're down to quite a few. We also add a number of larger ships, um, quite a few light cruisers, but unfortunately they have been destroyed and we're, we're down five raiders. We're down one capital, uh, unfortunately we lost one of our ISD-2s, um, the Soriber, um, Andrew W left an absolute epic comment uh, on the last video. Um, the the carnage is, is the sorry but unfortunately got taken out um i think that might is that the isd isd2 i don't think we can select rex unfortunately um we are paused at the minute because the fleet is very much in the in a state of disarray um and this episode what we need to do is we need to do a couple of things we need to sort out the shortage of missiles and we also need to um, build up two more fleets. So a lot of the comments are suggesting supply and logistics is a big thing. So we're going to make a, another harbour class and we're going to fill it with some supplies and we're going to get that to basically meet up probably in the redoubt. And then we're going to build another fleet down here um, with the Jeddah Task Force and we're going to move that up. This is not going to be a massive fleet. Um, I'm looking to get another ISD-2 um, to replace the Soriber. That'll kind of like head up that task force. And then probably a couple of victories um, just to kind of like round it out. Um, but one of the main things we need to kind of like sort out is dealing with our shortage of missile components. Now I am going to leave it paused for, for a good chunk of the start of this episode. It's not going to be a particularly long episode. This is going to be like a more of an economy one and then we'll deal with that MC-80 once we've got everything ordered uh, and things like that. So as first order of business then is we are going to turn this from a Dura Steel factory into a missile component factory because this has got all the components um, or it creates all the components required to make missiles. So if we go into the plan build and we've not got a massive area to work with because um, this station was never really going to be anything but dual steel plates so we might need to extend it out a bit a little bit but let's see what connection points we've got. Um, we need missile components. Uh, let's have a look. Missile, missile, missile. Let's just search for it. Missile. Alright, so what does it look like? Oh, so it's not the biggest module. We can work with that quite easy. Now, I don't want just one missile uh, component module. I want a couple. Um, just because I really want to try and get over this deficit. Um, 
because as it stands at the minute we've got a lot of ships docked with our harbour class um, and the reason that they're still docked is because um, they're wanting missile components and that's what they're waiting on we have got a couple of TIE fighters already assigned to that um, which are essentially traders but as it stands at the minute if I send them out to try and you know go do the job they're, they're gonna get destroyed um, so I think it would be best if we basically send send in missile components and if we make this base and over over uh, overstock it so to speak um, in fact I'll probably be best off copying that module let's see if we can daisy chain them a little bit not quite enough room um, I mean I don't want it to look a complete pig's ear but on the same token um, remove copy will you go there I, I was hoping to try and get three modules on this uh, will you fit on that bit no have we got enough room underneath no oh we can get one there what if we had one there one there hmm. one there thank you and technically speaking we should be able to get one on the other side as well shouldn't we and then that will give us three missile components there's no scientific reason why I'm doing three it just seems like a um, sensible number so to speak um, there is uh, some Is app, app the right word? Kind of app thing you can use for building stations with X4. Um, I have used it in the past. Uh, it'll let you know everything you basically need. No, oh, I just want you to go on this side. Yeah, like, like you were then. Oh, you mean this bit? No, I, I meant this bit. light up green a minute ago yes can you see that bit no not there right I'll go that way a bit what's stopping it from being able to anchor on that bit Answer is probably nothing, right? So sometimes if you confirm modules, and let's copy this module again. And flip you around 180 degrees. Yeah. Like so. No, you still don't want to go there? You'll go there, but I don't really want you there. Move that one. Uh, copy module. Will you go further down then? Will you at least give me that? Yes, thank you. There we go. So that gives us our three module changes on that. Um, three missile components. And that should be enough. It's got more than enough energy cells. Missile components require refined metals, which we've got, graphene, which we've got, uh, energy cells, which we've got, and dura steel plates, which are down there. So it should, 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 in theory, be able to just shunt all those materials across to that without us having to add on too much extra storage. So we'll confirm those changes. We will accept that estimate. Well, it's only half a million. That is pretty damn cheap. Um, who are we going to use? Where's our our builder? We'll use our builder. 
Right, okay, so I accept this. Let's just uh, close that. Right, so that's that bit done. Whew. <clears throat> Do apologise as well. I am a little bit, still a little bit ill at the minute. Um, as, as, as usual, I get cold and it goes straight to my chest. Um, that's fine. We can deal with that. Um, we need a harbour. We need the Imperial Harbour class. 20 million. That does seem a little bit excessive. But we have got the money for it, so we'll accept that and we'll confirm it for now. So we've got that building. Right. So they're now building those. They're building those. We need to have a look at what's going on down here. Now, in an ideal world, we will start clearing this sector. We'll start destroying these defense um, platforms. Um, because if we can get a smaller fleet built down here and move it up and link them up together, we should be all right. Um, we could do with some sort of eyes in Rago, but we'll not worry about that just yet. Right, so I think all the things we've got to do now, I have gone through, everyone is on repair orders pretty much. Um, we might need to, right, so let's actually go through these. These change equipment orders. Let's get rid of those because we can't change the equipment at the minute because um, there's there's no equipment to change to. They're all waiting for missiles. These defenders all need a new home as well. Right, we'll sort that out as it comes across. Um, Scorch, I really, 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 really need you to do your thing. Delta class two frigate. Died horribly. Let's just. Uh... Where's the rest of the fleet? MCA designer, sir. So we need to keep eyes on that MC-80. We also need to see if they keep bringing anything in. Now if they keep trickling them in piecemeal like they are, we'll be fine. We can deal with that. Imperial Star Destroyer 2. Um... Now, obviously, the, one of the options you can do, um, which someone pointed out to me, and then it was kind of like really obvious, what would be to actually leave, teleport out of the system, let the fleet kind of like do its thing, and then teleport back in, which we might do in a second when we've got the rest of, the, when we've dealt with this MC-80. We don't want to get too close. Awaiting orders. Do we want to give Scourge enough room to manoeuvre? And we don't want to get too close to the defence platform. There we go. Oh, nice. Awaiting orders. It's a nice little view, isn't it? Be a bit more more subtle with the uh, camera crew, but yeah. So we're dealing Wait, with that MC80 quite nicely. The squad should even get some um, shots off. I think it was squad that took out home one, wasn't it? Essentially. You scored that scorch that led the charge. Oof. See, those MC80s are pretty t 
tough, but without um, fighter support, that's the thing that the New Republic seem to be struggling quite a lot with at the minute. We've got no fighter support. Doesn't mean we can take them lightly. We still need to be careful around them. Good, we're getting repair drones out as well, which is nice. Accuracy than that, ladies and gents. Oh, there you go. Leave me alone, please. How about you surrender and I'll leave you alone? I'm not talking to you. Oh. Well, you're gonna die. Awaiting Oops. orders. See, we could have just spoke about it. We could have talked about all this. Lovely. Right, so it's just now we're on battle watch. Um, Awaiting orders. And letting the money build up. Have we got much in the old piggy bank? Last order could not be completed. Yeah, that's fine. Who who said that? I don't know. That's all right. Um, we could do with finding homes for those Thai defenders as well, because I'm sure we'll have space now in some of the um, some of the fleets. Imperial Star Destroyer One. This mass carnage. Imperial Star Destroyer Two. Everyone is slightly damaged, which is slightly worrying, but. What can you do? What are you doing? I mean, we could potentially get some... If we took ordered some ships, ships from Jeddah, we might be able to run that blockade. Right, tell you what we'll do is... Radis, Awaiting I orders. want you to fly and wait here. And then we'll go. Awaiting orders. We'll form a nice straight line. So we're basically w awaiting anything that wants to go through the um, gate at us. And then we'll Striking. take stop. We'll find some homes for those um, defenders, which were part of um, the Soribur. And then we'll take it from there. Welcome back. So, um, it's been a little bit slow going because I'm trying not to use Setter. We had a little bit of a supply problem with the uh, Bastion factory um, having enough components, but I have managed to get enough fighters back in the fleet just to top his numbers, numbers up. We've also got a few bombers that have uh, just come through. We've had basically a mad rush. Um, I keep trying to, I keep finding these um, little tie defenders that have been trying to dock with the harbour class. The harbour class is no longer in the fleet because it was starting to cause, because the harbour class hasn't got missiles, um, it's starting to cause a few little problems as regards to kind of. Um, ships docking and then just staying there so obviously those ships that are docked I don't have access to because the orders don't override automatically well that's fine um, so what we're gonna do is before the New Republic can build too much of a fleet back up they have got one MC80 which seems to be patrolling vortex um, we're gonna make a start on taking out some of these stations now, I think we'll probably go for the central one first, just because I don't want ships to start accidentally going through jump gates and stuff like that. Um, it also gives me more reaction time if anything does come through this gate, 
we can swing round and attack. So we're going to do uh, the age-old coordinate attack. And we're going to try and clear out um, the Anselm. Um, so firstly, prepare your attack. Coordinate attack, please. Now we need to swing round as well so we can provide any support. I still can't get over the uh, sheer amount of chaos that we've uh, caused. We'll need to manoeuvre the harbour class somewhere where it's going to be um, a little bit safer. I am tempted to send it to more the system edge, but if I do that there's always the risk that um, if it does get attacked we'll not be able to get to it in time. We have got another harbour class built. We've got um, the missile factories has started producing missiles and we've started loading those onto the new one. So once we've cleared a bit of space we can make a dash and push that through. Um, I want to fill it up with quite a few missiles. Um, probably looking in the tens of thousands missile component wise just so we've got enough. Uh, essentially. And I'll tell you what we'll do is I will set you as a guidance point. And then we can start getting it lined up. Again, we'll not be going in for the glory. That'll be the job of the um, main fleet. This station over here does seem like quite a popular one with traders and miners. So I think that one will be a good one to destroy because that should do some damage to the uh, New Republic's economy. Who's that? Victory 2 Star <sighs> Destroyer. Good old Victory 2s. They're a bit, a bit scary, them Victory 2s, when they uh, get into position. Because they're the, well, obviously they're one of the quicker ships in the fleet. Right, so let's just wait for a couple more. You're almost in range. I mean, it should be fine. in what we're looking like. Oh no, you're one of the light cruisers. My mistake. And we'll get you just to kind of like fly and wait here I think will be a sensible choice. It has got its own decent little attack wing so it is covered against anti-fighters. So, have we got ever enough people in position? Right, what are your fighters doing? Okay, yeah, I'm happy with that. Um, do I have to select the first fleet, exactly? I have to have nothing selected, I don't remember. Radis. Right. Trigger sync point, go. And we'll jump in as well. We'll get a little bit closer. I keep forgetting, this is this is actually quite a tough ship, the old Venator. Um, She's not as tough as a Star Destroyer, but she can take a few licks, and she has got a good amount of firepower on her as well. Um, more than enough for us to kind of like utilize um, in the old fights. And we shall stop. Imperial 
Star Destroyer 1. Right, so we're starting to get some shots off. Nice D2. Wait, wait. E oh my god. It's a creative use of tractor beams for sure. a bit dangerous. Imperial Star Destroyer 2. Oh no, it's at an alright angle. Not too much risk of uh, taking that out. Oh. <laughs> Whee! Imperial Star Destroyer 2. Who is that? It's Gorge. <laughs> I told you about your antics. You, you, got, you get some good, um, Defense good, good manoeuvring. Alright, let's see if we can come a bit closer. There we go. So we are going to edge forward a little bit because I think we're just firing at this bit at the minute. Let me just check. Uh, capitals. Capitals that were from last episode, weren't it? When we were doing a bit of hunting. Let's just make sure we're not got nothing coming up in the rear. Excellent. Well, that's the main core taken out. I mean, the main core is actually the, the least of the problems. All that does is give it access to claim um, on the system. got to be something said for this view especially when you've got the you know the rest of the fleet in front of you pounding away with the old turbo lasers Luckily, we might not actually need the rest of the. Ooh, come on, come on, gas miners. We might not need the rest of the, the support fleet to actually wipe out these three sectors. Um, it depends what the, su the supply levels have been and how much they've managed to dig themselves in. Good, good auto save time there. Don't like the look at this. <laughs> this looks like someone's going to be doing acrobatics in a minute. Right, that one nice and easy. So we'll just double check the. F uh, well, we'll do a long range scan, see if there's actually anything else uh, in sector. No, so just these two stations, that defense station. So once we've done this, we'll double check the the fleet, see if they need any repairs, and then we'll um, move in to attack this place. So this is a high tech factory. It makes. Ooh, do you make missile components? Because if you're making missile components. No, surely not. Surely not. Logical overview. Don't want to tell us. There's an option to trade with. Oh, it won't, it won't tell us what it makes. Have we got anything on information? What it produces? We don't know. We don't know, but what we can do. Right, let's just have a quick look at um, our fleet. So there, those fighters in there. You're fine. You're fine. 
Uh, let's just minimize that. Let's just minimize that. You're fine. You're fine. Well done. You're fine. Oh my god. Did you manage to take that with no damage to the, the hulls? Ugh, that's uh, good. So, uh, I see no reason why we can't do that again. So that's the high-tech factory. You are a refined goods factory. Let's have a look at you. We're looking at the wrong station. I don't recognize the modules. It wouldn't surprise me if this is like a refined, refined metals factory. And then the other one is a weapons component, because they look like weapons components. Um, so that would be good, because we might get some free missiles out of that. Right, so I just need to double check a quick couple of things. Um, I'll set that to coordinate attack. We'll get it in range, and we'll get it sorted, and then we'll take this station out. Okay, and we're back. So we're coordinating that attack. We'll just double check how much money have we got. We're slowly building up. Um, I want to be basically buy the new ISD2 before we buy anything else. Um, If when I'm when I'm building when I've got a rough idea of, of fleets that I'm building, what I tend to do is buy the most expensive ships first, and then kind of like add the rest on after. We. Do you know what? I think if you're already. Apologies for the background Strike interruptions. It. That would be the rabbit. Get off my radar. Um, we might as well trigger straight away if you're already en route. You, I want you to fly away. Over waiting here. Orders. You've got your patrol fleet coming out. Tell you what I'll do, because I'm sure I've still got some civilian satellites. Yes, we have. Just so we've got no nasty surprises coming up. Our fighters, our, our deploying to deal with their their fighters. This station's getting uh, shot at. Should be in range of um, some star destroyer. Oh, look at all them coming in. Waiting orders. I want to see the fleet in coolness. Waiting orders. Look at that. Beautiful. Death triangles on parade. It shouldn't take us too long before we're uh, dealing with all these stations in this sector. Oh, he says that. Just lost a, an interceptor. I mean, other than the Ark, I think a lot of the kind of Clone Wars era stuff is a little bit weak when you're fighting up against the New Republic. I think it's great when so if you if we were ICG fighting CSA or CSA fighting ICG or Hooks fighting whoever Hooks fight, I think they're the quite an effective fighter. But against the main factions, I think they're just basically um, outdated. Refined metals galore. We'll take all those.
So what I might have to do, because the rabbit is going bananas behind me, um, is we'll take out this station, uh, and then what I'll... Well, well, we'll take out the two other stations. We'll leave the military station for now. Um, a big old station. He gets, he gets zoomies at random time, does the old rabbit. Um, don't know why. There's no rhyme or reason. Um, usually when I turn the lights off and, and essentially sit in the dark recording, he's fine. Um, but, but a lot of times... He's just not fine. It's when he realises you're there, he's like, oh, you should be giving me attention. Like that. And then he catapults himself into things. If you've ever seen parkour, just imagine a rabbit doing parkour, and that would be my rabbit, Mr. Binks. Right, we're getting plenty of loot, which is good. Oh no, we've lost a Royal Guard tie. I notice we've still got some of the Fantine Aggressors, which are the one of the original fleets, and the um, Red Wing of Thai Royal Guards, which is pretty impressive. Oh, and we've got Jewel of Fates playing. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let the music do do this job for us um, while we defoy, destroy this station. Victory to Star Destroyer. Oh, that was uh, a little bit shorter than I would have liked. <laughs> um, but there you go. At least we got some. Right. Um, you go and collect drops. Just get as much as you can of this refined metals and other wonderful things. I should have really left a satellite down there. What have we got going down here? So... That's the New Republic X-Wing Patrol Group. That doesn't seem to be doing much. Where's that MC-80 gone? There was an MC-80 in this system. It's the Patrol Pelter. Right, so that MC-80 may have come in to say hello. You're being very brave. So, if, like I said, if that factory is what I think it is, which I think it's a missile factory. We we might be in for some um, treats. So what we'll do is we'll get you to collect some drops as well. Um, so then we've got a couple of ships filling up on goods. Um, we will move to a... Look at that. Look at that view. That's amazing. What are we engaging? Oh, an X Wing. I think we'll be fine with an X Wing. Didn't even press anything then. Don't you change your mind? I think these by far. Um, so if I was to recommend good fleet Imperial ships to people, like the fighter crafts, the Royal Guard one would definitely be up there because it's got plenty of firepower, 
it's really quick. It's an excellent soft um, swarm fighter. It's got some decent hull points, decent shields for the Imperial side. Um, and they just they just seem to be pretty damn effective Awaiting orders. dealing with things. And they're also low um, upkeep because they don't need missiles or anything like that. Um, they just seem to be a really, really good balanced fight. That's why we've got so many of them. Um, the TIE Strikers are... So, like, the TIE Strikers are a good little brawling ship. Uh, if you need a brawling ship. Um... I was wondering why it wouldn't, wouldn't let us move then, it's because we were in map mode. But yeah, the striker is a really good brawler. Um, with the ion cannons, a swarm of those against a medium ship is pretty pretty good. Um, but definitely the Royal Guard, Thai. If the Br Thai Brute had better shields, I think that would be a good good fighter. Because um, the AI just seems to do do really well with it when it's in swarms. But you know that's kind of like the the thing with the Imperial ships, isn't it? They're a wee bit squishy by design. Right? Are we going to have? Let's just do a quick check of the main ships. Your shields are coming up nicely. Your shields are 100%, your shields are 100%, your shields are 100%, your shields are 100%, nearly 100%, that's good. Um, Alright, what are you doing? Your shields are 100%, 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 your shields are teleport to you because they'll just keep um, sending drones out and things like that so we'll teleport to you yes yes hello there get out of my way and then we'll if we can yeah we'll do the old Eve Ho. You've got half refined metals and stuff like that, that's fine. Wow, 4,000 energy cells. Why are you full now? Yeah, full to the brim. So we're going to have to mess around with transferring some cargo if that is what I think it is. Um, Brad Spain. It is time to take out this last station, then we're going to call it an episode. Um, should really take out that, that defense platform as well. But I want to take this out, because if I can take this out... Um, I know, like, this annoys me as well, narratively-wise, when you're teleporting about, but on the same token... Um, when you try trying to get something done, um, it's just better. It just works sometimes. It's all a suspension of disbelief. Maybe that's why we're such a powerful Lord Ward. We've we've discovered some form of translocation device, which technically we have. We've done the research for it. Um, I can't remember if there's any form of teleportation in Star Wars. Obviously, Star Trek's got teleportation left, right, and center. Even the teleporters have got teleporters. Was that a thing? Deep Space Nine was some of the from what I recall off the top of my head, some of the best weird, is weird and wacky... Um... Jesus Christ, why are the engines so loud? 
Um, weird and wacky um, pieces of tech. Why are you taking food rations? Well done. Um, like one of my favourites was the self replicating my car. That is unbearable. Why is the engine so loud? Yeah, the self replicating mines that the um, place? Is that one of O'Brien's? Um... Inventions? He did it come up with some crackers, didn't he? Old O'Brien. Chief O'Brien. I think Chief O'Brien was probably one of my favourite. One of my favouritists of the uh, Deep Space Deep Space Nine. Um crew and Bashir, Dr. Bashir, Dr. Bashir was pretty, pretty cool. High tech factory. High tech factory. Mountain defense in the redoubt. Why are you mounting it? There shouldn't be anything in the redoubt, should they? Unless they've got a fleet that's just been floating around in there. Well, you would have thought they would have fetched that fleet and went when we, when we moved in. Don't worry, we'll we're gonna bail you out soon enough, Empire. So what the plan is most likely gonna be um moving forward is I'm probably gonna build the fleets behind the scenes because I can essentially sit and let the money grow and stuff like that and keep an eye out once we've got this fleet somewhere relatively safe. Um, I'm not, I don't want to be taking over any sectors while behind the scenes um, and I suppose I can always have the, the the recording software on the the ready and waiting whoop Just in case. Oh, that looks cool. I'll erase you. You'll erase me. I think you'll find um, I'm the majority stockholder in space erasers at the moment. We don't. We don't think there's any fleets. Oh well, the New Republic fleets. They definitely couldn't stand up against us. Though let's not get cocky or overconfident. <laughs> we, we, we don't. We don't want an incident. Um. Yeah, that would be bad. We, we could do with um, I have my cursor there. I do apologise. We, we... It's so tempting to make a ridiculously sized fleet of just ISDs. You know, like five of each, five ISD ones, five ISD twos, and then ten victories, and then just see what happens. See where we get to. I have thought about doing some like little test videos, uh, no, well, not test videos, some little um, test scenarios um, on this game once we've more or less got the Imperial campaign completed and the Rebel campaign, campaign completed. So doing some custom starts, giving yourself some insane fleets, um, starting off in a sector and just seeing, <coughs> excuse me, seeing how long a certain fleet will last. I've seen it done before with kind of like the Sith fleet, like the Sith ships, like seeing how far you can push in. Um, but yeah, I think it could be quite cool. Right, what goodies, if any, have you given me today? 
Not um silicon wafers. Silicon wafer. You kidding? Silicon wafers. Is that it? You make me sick. Right, you. Don't wait there. It's a pity these ships can't actually make components. Um, but it's a it's a decent haul that. So we're going to call it there for an episode. <laughs> They're just little ships. You know, nothing to worry about there. Imperials have dug in here a little bit. I don't know where they're... So if they're mounting the defence there, that we would assume they have some ships there. Um, so one thing I did with this station is I've essentially set it so uh, we don't sell the missiles at the minute. Um, they're all mine. Now, I'd like to try and run that blockade, but... No, I don't want to do that. Uh, transfer where's with. Transfer where's with... Sorry, my mistake. Transfer where's with this place. Uh, missile components. Confirm. And transfer where's with this place. So it's saying it wants twenty six thousand. I don't know where it's getting that number from, but we can we can definitely do that. In fact, we're going to borrow this Lamber. Lambard. Uh, transfer where's give me a missile components. Transfer me your missile component. And then do that again. Lovely. I was really hoping that um, we had... Had... Um, all these fighters just sat here waiting. Um, I don't know what I was going to say then. Oh, I forgot. It's gone. Right. Um, I mean, we could try and get it to push through. It's a big gamble. It's a big gamble. Um... I'll tell you what I'll do, because we do need the money as well. We'll just turn that down, so... Automatic sell amount. Start selling. Because I think that's going to be a popular, popular enterprise, that one. Right, those ships need moving. So I have got quite a few little bits and bats to do which are really boring to watch and just as boring to do um i mean there's capacitors and stuff like that but none of it's none of it's really any good use so i think we're going to leave it there for this episode um i'll do some little behind the scenes bits there's I can't see much exciting happening uh, there might be the odd New Republic ship pop in or out. There is an MC-80 um, kicking around somewhere, which is in charge of, is the one that's in charge of the carrier group. So, I don't know where that is, but, yeah. So, we're going we're gonna to clear this sector out um, next episode. We'll kind of do a bit of a push episode, and we will also do a um, we'll get the the ISDs the ISD2 
um, that'll head up the task force. I mean, I can I can actually buy them now if I really wanted to. Um, Ninety-two million is a little bit excessive, if I am honest. And that station is not particularly well funded. Is it the same price over here? I think we've been paying in the 70s for his ISD2s, if I remember rightly. Yeah, 77. That we can live with. So we'll just pause it. We're at 55 million at the minute. Let us accept our estimates on that. That brings us up to 55. You're going to take us up to 66. You're a constant disappointment. Um, and you will bring us up to 77? No, 70 will bring us. Yeah, we'll take the money from these because it doesn't take us long to get get it up back in. That takes ages to fill. Uh, confirm. All right, Matt. Buy ships. Let's just check the um, loadout on this as well. So we are down as the Hammer 2. We've got the nice engines. We don't need the big Mark 3s, do we? I mean, does that make much of a difference? The point, I mean, literally it's like 0 0.1, 0 0.2 of a difference. You only have one shield and you've got those. We definitely have the big turrets. Now, I think we went the, with the Julies, didn't we, instead of the Ions. I'm happy with that. You've got cargo trench, you've got repair crews. Um, I do want submarines, just in case we need to capture any ships. Um, we'll add that to the shopping list. Uh, and I just need to check the spelling on that. We've got the Sorry Burr, and is it the Sorry Burr? What are we going to call it? Just the Sorry Burr 2? The Sorry Burr 2? The Sorry Burr Juice? Um, sorry, but I'm trying to think of like what do what do they always call the Gundam's always good for for like the reincarnation stuff. So, so so the narrative that we're we're, we're crafting because we're always crafting a narrative on here is that we're going to call it the Sorba Two for the minute, and I'm going to think of something better. Um, or Andrew, if you would like to rename your ship something better, you are more than welcome to do. Um, so the narrative is. Because Andrew wrote such a such a such a beautiful beautiful piece of work, um, the the ship got destroyed. The captain went down in like a hail of glory, um, and what what we've decided to do because we were impressed with him so much is we've turned around and we've gone instead of letting that ship essentially rot in Glee Anson, wherever it is down the line. Um, the ship has been taken, it's been towed back to port, and it's been refitted, fixed up, and um, basically reserviced and put back onto active duty. Um, it's something that happens a lot in... Uh, like if you if you read or like follow any of the 40k stuff about the imperial fleets a lot of those ships because the the 
that cost so much to make. Whenever one gets destroyed, if they can, they and they actually salvage the hull of it, um, and then just refit it. Um, which is why the the Imperium has ships which are, you know, hundreds and thousands of years old, um, still floating about. Because even though some of them get destroyed, they just get rebuilt uh, and they use the frame if they can, unless it's tainted with chaos. Um, and I think that's happened a couple of times. The ships actually become a chaotic entity. Must have done. It's forty k. Anyway. So yeah, so the sorry bird has been rebuilt. Its its hull will be re um, constituted and spruced up. We'll get the old uh, grinders out and take away all the rust and stuff. So yeah, um, thank you for watching. As ever, I've rambled on enough for an episode. And until next time. <laughs>